Hello, my friend, and welcome back to David Media Channel. In the last video, we have been playing around with Banana K-pop to test our GraphQL server. And in the video today, we will move on with the front end. First, we need to stop our server and install concurrently so that we can run back end and front end concurrently. I hit cancel and run npm i concurrently and after that i will run npx create react app client Okay, our new React app was created successfully. And now let's open the VS Code. And in the bucket selection of the root folder, we need to add the following script so that we can run concurrently like we did in other tutorial. I hit save and open the terminal. Then I'll run npm. Run that. Okay, let's open the web browser and and you can see our application is running. Okay, let's go back to the VS Code and open the new terminal. We will go to the client folder and we need to install some uh, required packages for the front end. Let's run npm install Apollo client and we need to install Redux.js toolkit React Redux and Undesign. Okay, and then we open the client folder and then go to the SRC folder. We will create a new folder. It's GraphQL. And in here, we create another file and name it Apollo Client. So we are going to set up the Apollo Client in this file. Let's import some stuff from Apple Client. First, we're gonna need Apple Client. And then HTTP link. And then in memory cache. After that, we create a HTTP link. new http link and the ui is http local host 4000 graphql and then we're gonna export clones apollo client New Apollo client. The link is HTTP link, and the cache is new in memory cache. After that, we save the file, and then we open the app.js file. Let's import. Apollo provider from Apollo client Apollo Apollo provider Okay, and we don't need this logo. We don't need this here. That's file 
we have to import Apollo client from GraphQL Apollo client that we just created and we will graph our component in the Apollo provider I will remove here and okay just put like hello world we have to include the client here with our Apollo client let's save the file and we open our terminal npm run dev I open the web browser and let's see and we have no issue and next we're gonna set up the Redux store for our application we are currently using the uh, Redux.js toolkit it's much more easier for you to set up the Redux in the React application we just simply create a new folder and then it, and name it like Redux we also have action and we have slide yeah, but I just leave like that and we will implement later but <coughs> we need to create the config store and then in here we have to import config configure store from Redux.js tone kit then we will export default config store and put the reducer here and let's just put it like an empty object I save the file and we will go to the index.js file then we import the provider from React Redux and then we have to import the store from Redux config store that we just created and then we will wrap our component in the provider and the store would be store yep like this and let's open our web browser we will go to the inspect and check the redux we have the init state here so we have set up the redux successfully in our application now let's go back to to the VS code and we need to remove this CSS file and we have to import undesired CSS file yeah and let's remove this CSS file also this app CSS and the logo as well so that we won't get confused okay and let's go back to the RockQL folder we are gonna create a query file for the gen and in this file I will import 
GQL from Apollo client and then let's create a query to get the gen GQL query change and we have ID the name image and description let's save the file and let's go to the Redux folder in the slide folder I'll create the change.js file and let's import create slide from react.js toolkit we're gonna define the initial state for the gen we have the gen list that is no and then we create and export the the gen slide create slide and the name is gens and then the initial state after that we have the reduce which would be set the gen list this will take in the state and action And we will assign the, the gen list to the action.payload and then we're gonna export the action from the gen slide. We also export select gen list. dot gen dot gen list and we also export the gen slide reducer then I will open the config store and we will import the gen reducer from slide gen and I'll put the gen reducer here let's save it and we will go to the action folder and create the gen action the JS file in here our import use dispatch and use selector from react redux we also import apollo client from GraphQL Apollo client and we also import get gen query from GraphQL gen and then we have to import select gen list and action from the slide gen file and now we're gonna create 
a custom hook export default function view change we can uh, bring the dispatch from use dispatch and then we have the chain list from use selector select chain list and in here we will define the get chain list function that would be an async function we have the respond await Apollo client query we have query get chain and after that I will dispatch the action set chain list I will dispatch the action set chain list with the respawn data dot chains and don't forget to return the get chain list action and the chain and the chain list okay let's save the file and in the src folder we need to create a new folder name components and i will create a new file and change the js and in this file we type rfce and let's import view change from redux action change action and then we will bring the get change list and the change list from view change then let's bring use exit from the app and we will call the use effect here we will get the chain list in the use effect let's save the file and we will go to the app.js file I will bring the chain component here we have chains and then I save the file let's open the web browser so we have the chain list component and let's see if we have the result from server so we got the change list here you see the payload we have the change query and this is the response we had two chains. We have queries the chain successfully. So in the next video, we will display the chain list. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.